So hey guys, how you doing? Today's video is a makeup chat. Let's talk about um I have I'm gonna have two separate let's talk makeups today. So the first one is going to be let's talk uh what is these things? Eyeliners. And I'm gonna be talking about eyeliner pins. So I'm going to pull them all out. And I've been saving them, and I'm like, I need to get them out of my collection because some of them are dried up. And I've been meaning to tell y'all about them, but I ain't had a chance to. Okay, let me just pull this whole thing out. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give you like mini reviews of all of them. The prices, please don't be mad because it's been a while since I purchased many of them. Where is that one? Where is that? Oh. It. oh well oh it's in my hand blind okay so we're going to start with the l'oreal l'oreal paris infallible the super slim liquid eyeliner this one i think was almost eight dollars and if you can see let me see you see how precise that point is it's all good and whatnot but this one dries out real quick and it doesn't show up as black most of the time uh, once, especially if it's on top of something. Now, if I'm just doing a wing liner, like say, uh, like the other day, I just wore face, brows, and I wanted to just do lashes. It would be good just to line my lash line, and I could whip it real good. I can whip it with this, just because of this this tip right here. But when it comes to trying to put it on top of eyeshadows, I kind of got to go over it like four or five times to darken it because I guess because it's a felt tip, it collects some of the eyeshadows as you go but it will give you such a precise line so i like this one but it's eight dollars who wants to pay dollars all the time especially when i feel like it dries out pretty quick now my next one is going to be maybelline blind stiletto i think this one was around the same price let's see this one is a liquid eyeliner it's not necessarily a pen but i'm just going to group it all together because these are the ones that i had previously so this one is the next one and it's really black it's blacker than that one my only thing with this one is you have to be a little bit better you have to have a better hand a better a steadier hand because this one here's the, the point and it's really precise but it also is very bendable if you see because any slip is going to whoop which is with all eyeliners but for show for show this one you gotta be you, you gotta be a little bit careful and make sure you use more of the end um more of the end when you get out here like you can use the whole thing like when you're on the lash line but once you get out here you need to tilt that thing up and draw because <laughs> if not it's gonna it's gonna do its own thing now here's the palladio felt tip eyeliner pen and then you can, oh, baby, just wake up. Oh. So, the Palladio. You see how short that is? It's annoying. And I'm thinking that this one, it doesn't bend too easy, but it's not as black. Even when I first bought it. But it's like a charcoal black and not a midnight black. You know, like I had to do all that and I still, let me see how to do it if I moisten it. Okay, it's a little darker. This is the one, this is the one that I had to wet before I used. And I was like, but I was doing that almost since I had bought it. So that's not necessarily something you want to have to do every time you get uh, one of these. And this one wasn't cheap either. This is from Sally's. Not that they're expensive, but they darn sure, you know, I'm trying to cut no cost for nobody. Um, yeah, I don't like how short this one was, and I don't like how dry it, it is. Yeah. Oh, the, the Maybelline Lines to the Little. This one does sometimes give more of a waxy finish, like shiny. That's what I was looking for. Now, of course, down to these two baby dolls right here by Jordana. The skinny one, the big one, bold liner is this one, and 
This is Fabuliner. Mm. Oh, just a Fabuliner. And this one is bold because it's the it's the fat one. So. Look. He's right here. Black. These are really, really black. All day long wear. Two dollars, three dollars, and they are firm enough yet long enough. And they're longer than the Palladio, but they're shorter than the Maybelline, the the L'Oreal uh, Precision line. So, and this is the only chunky one because I, I had one by Kiss New York, and it kind of dried out on me quick. This one, long lasting. Like in the package, they're long lasting as well as when you wear them, they're long lasting. And I think there was one more, but I can't, I don't see it. Let me check real quick. I could have sworn I had another one, but I'm going to leave it at that. Five liners that I have been rolling around trying to figure out which ones I like, which ones I don't like. So if I, I can get rid of these two and be okay. I can get rid of Palladio and Maybelline, but I would definitely keep the L'Oreal and the Jordanas. So those are my top picks for eyeliners. Well, felt tip pins or, you know, I'm going to say this is more about pin action because this other one kind of made itself a pin to me. I don't know why. But if you guys got any questions, ask them down there, you know. See you next time.